the light generator only apply the mask in part where the light is falling so you can see right here the light is falling on the top surface so it had only apply in some of those uh, part where the light is falling so you can do it cast setting here uh, all you have to do is to you have to apply the light generator here so after that you can adjust the setting according to yourself you can increase the intensity, decrease it according to yourself, light attenuation, how much soft you can make it, how much harsh you can make it. So set it according to yourself and then after that when you are satisfied with this, um, I mean the look and the impact this light is creating to apply the mask in this part. After that you can apply any generator, I mean any material of yourself or the custom one which is already in the septic painter material slot so right here you can see that i had applied the rust material and you can see some interesting thing so if you want to break down this and uh, like mask to make it little bit more uh, interesting or you can do is that you can apply a fill layer here and then after that um, change the blend mode to multiply and then after that apply any grunge let me apply it and then drag and drop it and then you can see it uh, you can adjust it according to yourself so then after that you can increase it increase the scale and then even more you can break it down with some brushes custom brushes i mean any brushes you have in this brush slot So you can do many thing, interesting thing with this generator. This will help you a lot in your workflow, in your texting workflow. The second one generator can be very helpful in some situation. And in some situation, this may be not applicable. You have to apply the auto stitching by yourself manually. So in some cases, this could be helpful. So let me tell you how you can do is that. First of all, create a base layer fill layer and then after that apply a black mask and then after that all you have to do is to click here in the auto uh, auto stitch and wow you can see right here this had created the auto stitches so you can see here and then after that you can tweak the setting according to yourself how much you want uh, according to your preference you can see here the spacing is increasing decreasing so have fun with this amazing gener generator that auto that automatically generate the stitches for you so you can try this out and see if it really fit in your workflow so let's move to another generator mask editor generator will help you a lot in building a custom mask for example sometimes you don't want to use any of those uh, smart masks uh, presented here so you want to like you know you want to make some unique mask so for that like that matches your concept for that this mask can help you to build some custom mask and you can uh, adjust it and customize it according to your need and then you later you can create a ma smart material you know right here there will be create smart mask and uh, smart material whatever that will help you a lot in your later project so with this mask like here you can see that uh, this have created some mask here and when you will press uh, alt click in this mask black mask this will show the mask so the white one is where the mask is applied and then you can set the setting according to yourself and then see right here you know like you can adjust the setting curvature this is utilizing all your baked texture so according to that this is doing some changes and then all you have to do you can break up the mask here uh, like you can use some grunges let me apply anyone so right here set it to multiply blend mode to multiply right here you can see this said break up the mask you know you can adjust the contrast for example that you don't want the mask to be here in this area and then you have wait a second sorry uh, let me get you get back to the mask let me apply add paint 
and then after that you can uh, remove the mask like here you can see if you want to make it and uh, make it come back you can change the Z setting I mean the press uh, color white and black you can also swap it with X key right here you can see so you can remove remove it here and then after that you can do lots of changes so this is very helpful mask so you can create your own custom mask we're going to explore is this 3d distance so let me tell you how this generator could be helpful for you for example there's some object which have some glow in different part of surface so what you can do with this is you can define in which position this mask is applicable and then after that what really really happen is that it will create a emissive channel right here you can see so this will create a emissive channel and then uh, when you will export a texture and there will be em this different emissive texture so what really happen is that when you will apply that emissive channel I mean emissive texture in your game engine so only the glow will be applied there where this mask is applied on that, on that UV space I think so this is very helpful when you can use it so what really I did is that first of all I added a fill layer and after that I only enable the emissive channel and then after that I had increased the glow of this emissive uh, intensity like here you can see it so it is in the full range and then after that uh, what I did is that I enable this you know the texture channel and then after that you will see it will appear here and then you can set the color according to yourself so here's this one so you can see the settings here you can affect the position of it let me reduce the radius like here you can see I had applied it in the full one so right here you can see the offset you can uh, reduce the offset increase the offset this is according to your need how much you I mean according to your preference so after that I had just applied a random uh, like you know a fill layer with some grunges to break down some it uh, was looking flat so I added this one uh, after that what you, you have to do is that add a fill layer and after that drag and drop any grunge layer and then adjust it according to yourself like here you can see so after that I had added one more you can change the settings according to yourself it is very interesting one to add some you know like a glow effect it's a cool one so you should try it out this will add some more interest in the glowing part area so you can also one thing you can do is that in some part where you don't want this glow to be present there all you have to do let me switch this off let me show you all you have to do is to click here add paint and after that set it to multiply and then after that choose any brush like here you can see you can add or subtract if you press x this will subtract here so in order to add some more variation you can choose any brush like here so you can do it and break it down according to your need so this is a very helpful one generator that will help you a lot so this is everything i want to discuss about those four amazing generators that will help you a lot